Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. So we have advent calendar season upon us. Lots of holiday collections dropping. I was just talking about this in the beauty news uh, video that I brought you guys this past week. Um, and I was talking about how I may break out some of just the advent calendars on their own and kind of walk through some of the boxes. I don't know if I'll do each one separately or as groups, but today we're just going to focus in on the Charlotte Tilbury uh, advent calendar that has just dropped actually today. It is available through her app. Um, and so I thought let's go through it and see what all is going to be in this box because this is definitely a big one, one that I'm really interested in, um, have wanted to do an advent calendar from her. I loved her mystery box. It was amazing. So let's take a peek at everything we're going to be seeing inside. So if that interests you, stick around and we will dive right on in. And welcome if you're new here. I'm Cher. Like I said, I do a lot of beauty boxes here on the channel. We cover the popular beauty subscription boxes. I like to do a lot of spoilers. I'm kind of the spoiler queen here, so more spoilers today. But I like to do a lot of the unboxings and try-ons and reviews on a lot of the products in them too. And then I cover a lot of other beauty as well. And I love to also do vlogs. We do reviews and whatnot. So um, lots of latest breaking stuff and I've really gotten into luxury beauty. So I love my Charlotte Tilbury love her stuff. Um, so when there's a Charlotte Tilbury box, I'm on it. Um, so we're going to dive in. Now, I will say from peeking through a lot of the spoilers in this box, I was originally definitely going to pick this box up before, but I honestly own at least half of the products in here. So I'm a little bit like, I just don't know. I don't know after all if I'm going to pick this up, guys, or not. Um, going back and forth, but I'm kind of starting to lean now towards not doing it just because there's a lot of repeat stuff for me, but I will go through and let you guys know what all is in it for your info. So um, to start off with, the box is going to cost $220 total. It has 12 fun doors in it, and it's kind of set up to look like this like a jewelry box kind of idea. And so you can actually keep it to be a jewelry box if you want to. I feel like with this packaging, this is definitely like a keepsake kind of thing, in my opinion. And so if you're interested in picking up the box yourself, I do have the link down in my caption for you to be able to go find it. It's exclusive only to her app right now. And I think it's going to only be exclusive probably to just her site eventually. Um, so it'll take you through the link, but it may be that you have to download the app to be able to actually purchase it just so you know. But you can look down below there for the info and link. I do earn... A commission. I'm also a beauty magic star, Charlotte Tilbury. I have my own little page that just shows off like my favorite products and you can actually use my discount code for her page. I am not 100% certain if this box will count though, if you can actually apply that code to the box, but I will put the code on the screen for you and I believe you get, was it 10% off with this or 15? I will look up those details and let you know. And my cat says, oh, I'm coming out to find out about this calendar. <laughs> All right, so let's look at everything inside. The first thing we have up is her beauty wand. And this is going to be pink gasm. I love that she calls everything by kind of sketchy names too sometimes. <laughs> so her little, her beauty wands. I happen to have the little Tinkerbell one that I got in the uh, mystery box, and I really love these. Um, they're a lot more, you know, of like a highlighty blush. Now, this one, is this a, this is a light one, so I'm thinking maybe it's more on the highlight as opposed to her uh, blush. Okay, yeah, so it does look like this is going to be a highlight wand. And so, you know, she has different shades of it. This particular one is the Pink Gasm shade, which is a pink highlight. I will try to put the swatch for you in here to kind of get a feel for the look of it. Very pretty and glowing. It, it, that is a temptation. So, no, I don't actually have it. I only have this blush wand one, I think. Or it's a, it's a highlight and blush in one. Whereas this particular product is going to be more of a highlight one. But because it's shaded, kind of more pinky hued, you could technically kind of make it almost like a blush, but it's going to be a very glowing light blush, thus the name light. So typically this retails for $42 with her. 
And of course, you know, it is a liquid version. You're going to just dot a couple little shades on there and blend it out and make that more liquid, like glowing from the skin under type look with your highlight. The next item is gonna be a lip liner. This is her Lip Cheat Lip Liner. It says it's a waterproof version, so at first I thought they were gonna say it was eyeliner, but no, waterproof lip liner. And it's gonna be in our classic shade of Pillow Talk, which tends to be kind of a pinky nudie shade. It typically retails for $25. And her particular lip liner, this one is a velvety finish. Uh, you know, reshape and resize the look of the lips. Her lip liners are very popular. I don't have her lip liners, just her lipsticks. Um, it is a matte finish also. And again, supposed to be very long wearing, no smudge, like kind of smudge proof, um, very rich velvety texture on the lips. All right, next we have her classic uh, setting spray. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Love this, this is definitely a favorite. It's a very hydrating one. Gives it airbrush finish, blurring and whatnot. Um, locks in for up to 16 hours. Now this is my little mini set of it. And I think I got it as a sample with one of my purchases, but um, definitely a big classic everybody knows. I think it normally retails for about $38, but right now everything that has this in it is sold in sets at the moment. So it's hard to get a good feel for like, what was the retail value on this again? But somewhere around like the $38 value, I think for just one by itself, that's the fuller size. Next, we're gonna have up her Hyaluronic Happy Kiss, and this is a hydrating lipstick balm. Now I actually haven't done her lipstick balms, only her regular bullet lipsticks. So um, I would be interested in this. I think, um, I'm not sure what the shade is. So now there are a lot of different shades that you could get on this one. Um, now there's one called Crystal Happy Kiss. So I don't know if they're referring to that since they're calling it Happy Kiss, but this is the only one that I'm not sure on your shade exactly what it would be. I feel like the one pictured on her site most closely resembles like Passion Kiss or like Happy Petal maybe, cause it's a little deeper, almost brown look to it. Whereas this Crystal Happy Kiss is like a light pink. So. That's the only thing guys is I don't know which shade. That one's that part is not specified, but these normally retail for about $35. They are infused with hyaluronic acid to be a very hydrating balm. And they have more of like a sheer shade, I'm pretty sure. And they have a little bit like a sheer finish, I think. Next up, we have the Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. Um, so it is crystal infused lip oil for hydrated, luscious lips. Another one I don't own, but a good lip oil that's gonna be um, infused with crystals, I guess, like some skincare treatment. So I think the ingredient in this is Squisandril, which is a lip volume like booster. Um, supposed to help your lips look up to 70% more volume, basically, in 28 days. It's a lip conditioner by day and a lip mask by night. So few more things um, to think about in this. It has hyaluronic acid and plant extracts, and it has like a crystal rollerball tube, I guess, is in the application. It typically retails for $40. Now, I the only thing I would say about it is like, I have one of her lip plumpers, and it stung the lips pretty bad. So I hope this one doesn't sting if it has any kind of plumping properties in it. That'd be my only drawback with that. Next, we have the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. I have kind of a mini version of it, but it typically retails for $29 in the full size. It's supposed to be volumizing and lengthening. Here is what the wand looks like. Now, I will confess, guys, I have actually still not used it yet. Um, I just have so many mascaras. And I got this in her mystery box, I think. And I just, I... I haven't tested it out yet and I kind of wait until closer towards when I might start using it because once you open up that mascara and use it, that's it. The clock starts ticking and it becomes expired very quickly. I can't really give you my thoughts on, you know, review on it, but this is supposed to be very lash lifting. It's a polymer, it lifts and holds the lashes, but also adds body and texture to the formula too. I love when they're both. It also has Cure Store, which creates a strong conditioning effect. So it might be kind of like conditioning the lashes to give them a, a thicker look on the lashes. All right. I'm sorry about all the noises, guys. Now I've got trucks outside. I have cats meowing. I only have a certain amount of time to film this though. I've literally got about 20 more minutes before I got to get my kid. My other kid comes home 
Um, so I'm just pushing through it. <laughs> but anyway, the next one is Pillow Talk Eyeliner. It retails for $29. And this is going to be in the shade Pillow Talk. Well, so, which makes a very smoky berry brown this time. See, that is confusing to me because a lot of times when I hear pillow talk, it's that kind of like pinky nude. So this is different, but um, really I, I'm only seeing one shade in this eyeliner. So a very like berry brown eyeliner. Um, yeah, I actually don't have any of her eyeliners either. So I'd be interested to try it. All right, and then we do finally have our Pillow Talk lipstick, which I have right here in that classic nudie pinky shade, and I'll swatch it for you. There we have it. This retails typically for $35. This is like a matte formula, long lasting, buildable, but fairly like hydrating. So you just, you've always got to have a Pillow Talk, you know, that's just a, a classic iconic staple you got to have. All right, and then we have more lipstick. This one's gonna be more of a red one. So it's a bright red lipstick. This is the Hollywood Beauty Icon in a modern matte formula, um, which I think is so appropriate for the holidays. And I love how even the packaging's more shaded red, like berry for this. The only thing is I don't know exactly which red shade it's gonna be because there's at least three or four red shades in this line. So I'm not sure which one it is. I just know it's gonna be a bright red and it normally retails for about $35. If I had to make, I guess I'd say maybe cinematic red might be it because that's the one that has more of this red packaging. But then again, so does Fame Flame. I don't know. And so does Pizzazz, which is a more blue toned. That'd be the only thing I can't clarify to you which shade exactly it is. Just know it's kind of a bright red. All right, next we have more skincare. This time we have up her Glow Toner. Um, this one retails for $55. It is a glow toner that includes niacinamide, and it's an acid-free toner. Should be for all skin types and very gentle, but also exfoliates the skin. It's going to try to really target the appearance of pore sizes. Also, it could be good for like redness. Um, it says it could be good for dry skin too, like mine. So I'm hoping it still could be my skin type. Um, with the exfoliating, it has a prickly pear extract, um, but it also includes peptides and then again, niacinamide. Then we have the very exciting Magic Cream. This is one of my favorites. You guys hear me talk about all the time. A great moisturizer. Um, love this so much. Now, this is our $100 cream. Very expensive. You can get a smaller size for $65, but I think it's this size that's the $100 value. And um, it does include hyaluronic acid, so, you know, moisturizing. Also includes vitamin C and E for brightening, um, evening the skin tone also. And it's got like a peptide complex in it as well. But yeah, love this. Okay, but the next one, okay, this is her Magic Serum Elixir. I am not gonna lie. I'm not as crazy about this one. I got it as a sample. I don't think I have it anymore. But I got it in a sample from one of my purchases and it wasn't a favorite. It had this funny smell like um, frankincense or something in there that was a little too herbal for me. And I just didn't feel, I didn't care for like the finish, at least for the, the price of it. But I know it's a very popular one, like extremely popular. So, you know, kudos to whoever would be excited to get it. You know, it's just probably not one of my favorites. Now, depending on the size that you choose, it could be as much as $184. I'm not sure which size is going to be coming in this one though. Um, so, you know, which version of it, because you could have like a little mini or bottle, I guess, for $29, or you could have the medium, which is one ounce for $85. But yeah, the Three ounce one is $184 retail value. So like I said, just, I feel like for the price, like I wasn't, it wasn't one of my favorites. But this is a serum that includes a golden vitamin C, um, polyglutamatic acid. I can't say that right. Um, supposed to like help brighten the skin, reduce the signs of dark age spots, fine lines and wrinkles. And I do find that a lot of those types of products that target the dark age spots, are not my favorite finishes anyway. So it's probably not necessarily a problem with the serum itself. It's just me and my preferences, but um, that's what it's kind of targeting. So this, I didn't realize this, but the polyglutamic acid is actually four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. So that's good to know, includes that. So it's interesting. I like this one less than the Magic Cream that's HA. 
go figure. And I tend to like very moisturizing, but it, I think that's part of what it was. It did almost have this, it was creamy, but very almost, I won't say it was oily, but almost oily. So maybe it was a little too hydrating. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But that's everything that is in the advent calendar. So, you know, in looking back at it, I guess it wasn't that I had half of the products, but I have of all, I think all of the products that are there, the ones I'm the most excited and interested in are ones I have already. I think I'd be interested in getting another highlight, like the highlight wand and maybe try the eyeliner and lip liner. And besides that, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm going back and forth. I may still get it. I don't know. I'm going to debate on it though, but let me know if you are planning to get it and how this sounds to you. I think it's, it's just that I do have some of these, so they're a little repetitive. Um, but I love my Charlotte Tilbury. I love her products. So I might have to go for it. I don't know. So you'll just have to stay tuned and see. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and make sure that you stick around for more advent calendars that I'll be covering as I see them drop. And we're going to try to figure out how to break these into other categories. Like if I'll do some holiday sets, I definitely want to bring you guys some of the Sephora sets that are dropping like holiday sets. Um, yeah. And we'll definitely be covering some things for Black Friday, the sales and whatnot. Um, and any sets and calendars on, on the deals, but I might try to just bring you some separate spoilers videos for them like this. And of course, if you're still into the beauty subscriptions, those are always here on the channel, but it's just here towards the holidays. We're especially going to be getting into these advent calendars as well. So if all of that interests you, you'll definitely want to stick around and pop that subscribe, turn the notification bells to on so you don't miss it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.